Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you the bass line for on the track Low Life. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of my sound designer. A little bit, not that much. And how it's gonna sound. It's going to take some time. As you can see. It's done. The process is done. Now I'm going to go to the Right. I'm in the library, so it's gonna you're gonna hear some background noise. There's a lot of echo. That's what I got so far. Oh, how I make the bass sound? Look. show you how I do it. Oh, for this sound you will need to have headphones on or a good speaker system to hear this noise. You will not hear this noise, noise through a sm smartphone speaker or you can kind of hear it through the mid-range speakers but anything that doesn't doesn't even take the mid-range or does take the mid-range but not the like the low end no loaning at all then at all then you're not gonna you're not gonna hear the sound you're not gonna know what I'm talking about see so I repeat you're gonna have to have your good speaker system or have your headphones on e e even the crappy headphones can pick this up I'm just telling the truth but right now I'm just gonna show you right now I'm gonna show you Now the next pattern is where Future does this. So the tech is tech is oh, just very like his squad, like he has his face, like his squad. I'm on the money, you see that part. Uh. Like that, like. to make the 808 I'm gonna show you how I make the 808 to make the DJ spins 808 is what I have to do put in the distortion equalize it a bit no make the sub the sub the sub higher than it no no this is what I have to do to make the sound this is this is what it's, this is what it's gonna actually sound like distortion on the neck out that kick sound that I made that's how I do it go here on the farm knob I just gonna hold the 808 off see but this this Take this out, take the envelope out, and then you know the 808 is gonna just. Oh, I forgot to put it back on. I didn't mean to. It must be act it's acting crazy. Look, see? I'm gonna knock out that kick sound, and not you take the envelope out, envelope out, and now it's gonna sound like a typical 808. See? Once I do this, it's gonna have the extra kick sound by messing with the pitch modulation. I'm gonna make the 808 sound even more powerful. What I do, 
there you go. It's gonna make it. It's gonna give it that powerful sound and a better mix. All right, now, no, I'm gonna even. I'm gonna even put my put another 808. Use any 808. No matter which which one you use. Don't matter. Show you right now. I don't do drum kits, but this is gonna be for example. No matter what 808 you, you use, as long as you're doing it. No, I'm thinking of just using my custom made 808. But you put in one. Got to cut it off. Cut it. You have to do a lot of editing today to wait. I'm gonna have to do a lot of changes to the eight oh eight. Like bring out, bring this high line more out. Like make it stand out more, cause it's not standing out as it should. Then I EQ most of it out. See, don't matter what eight we use. Trying to have it tap. No, I could do instead of doing all this work, I could do this. Oh, but the problem with this 808 is that it, this type of equalization is that it takes out the key factors of what I want in the sound. So I don't like this equalizer. I like this one better because I could still have it, you know, still bring out the key factors. What's important to me. some distortion and you're gonna have a whole new way to wait yeah it's gonna sound weird I'm just gonna let you know right now now next step is lowering the distortion volume down I'm gonna be done with this track eventually. I'll be eventually done with the low light track. I like the track, I do like it. It's turned up, man. It's really turned up. Get you know, in the vibe, you know, turning up. Oh, since the, since the 808 has the kick sound inside of it, I don't have to do much to it. I can add more to it. I uh, kind of, uh, I didn't want to cut that much off. Kick sound. I'm gonna do it right now. I'll go to the pitch. Oh, yeah, I might want to hold the volume. See, you can use any 808 and do that to any 808 you want. Oh, but the, the first 808, this 808 right here, is the 808 I designed. This is the 808 I designed. This is the 808. I didn't design it. This is the 808 from a drum kit, which I don't even use. I don't use drum kits, but it's kind of ridiculous of me to have a drum, have a drum kit to work with, to even work with. Now roll it back, and and have the um the cake on. You take out the sustain and you take out the release. I 
to decay to have that kick sound. If you have it too high up, it's gonna sound like some weird take note kick. Look. Copy it and then go to the other eight away. This is a regular typical 808. I know it sounds weird. So it don't matter what 808 you use. impact I know how to do that bam problem and it's kind of over compressed though This 808 for this 808, and I could bring more of the sub bass because not I don't have enough sub in it, sub bass in it. I could bring more, I'm, I'm add more to that. I took out the special stuff out of it. See. Use another 808 besides this 808. I'm gonna get my custom made 808. Also, I'm gonna do the piano bell sounds and whatnot. Um, here we go. I'm not to do a lot of digging. That's gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna have to change the key. That's an example of what you can do with any 808. It's, it's, you can do it with any type of 808. It don't matter which 808 you use. As long as, as, long as you're doing the perp on the songs, that you're, you're trying to fulfill with the mix, fulfill its purpose of the mix. Whatever, whatever you're trying to mix, 
it tracks or whatever. <clears throat> you see, you don't have to go to any place, you know, for a drum kit. Or th you could do it. No, you could do it. Matter of fact, I can do it. But I choose not to. No, because I want to know how to do these things. I want to know how to do these things. I want to know how to design sounds. And stuff. I'm interested in that. Since I'm interested in that, I want to do it. If I'm not interested in it, and I'm just... I'm, bro, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if I wasn't all interested. But since I am, I am doing what I am doing. And this is this is from a typical 808, not from a drum kit. This is from a typical 808, not from a drum kit. Look. See? And this is a typical 808. You have this on? This is my favorite part. I like this 808. I like this 808 for a reason because the, it, the pattern kind of changes up. I just okay, even have it have more of the kick sound in it. I could really do that, I could even, like this. Get to the interesting part on how I design most of my songs. Metro Boomin uses a lot of. I'm not lying. Metro Boomin. The usual things Metro Boomin would do is use use a plugin like like a Nexus. I have a Nexus. I do. I'm not kidding. I do have it. Right. Now, I'm gonna show you right now. This is a Nexus, but I don't use the plugin often. But I, I feel if I'm gonna do a remake or whatever. Why I spend most of my time searching for a sound, like searching, 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 then I finally found a sound to to have the exact sound from the actual song when I could design the sound. No, there's times why I, I just I write like the March Madness instrumental remake. I I, I used the sound off the um, purity. I could have had designed the sound, but it would be time consuming to this to design the sound. There's a benefits to. There's a lot of benefits to sound designing, but when it comes to recreating a track and you can find the exact sound for that track, why, seriously, why the bothers spend your time or day making the sound? We could just take the, you could use the sound from from the actual plugin that the person, that the original producer used to making the beat. So I just choose to, but I'm not going to use use the um, Nexus for the um, plug sound. I could use Citrus to design sounds. I could use the three times oscillate. Yeah, Citrus is, is underrated. 
really underrated. But what's really underrated, super underrated, is the three times oscillator. That 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 synthesizer right there is super underrated. It's so underrated, it's ridiculous. Uh, I'm proved. I'm prove it. Now honestly, uh, this this is how I do to design to the two design sounds. But to knock off the organ sound, I have to put everything in 24. You see, it sounds like an organ. So knock that off. That sound like some some synth some synthesizer. The one I'm gonna do is detone it a bit. Looks like it sound like a bell. It don't sound like a bell. It still sound like a synth. Now to, to get in that sound, this is what I had to do. See? And then what I do is add reverberation. I'm gonna have to um to sustain. Some reverberation so you can always take a sound fresh. Check some of this. Take it, take it, take this out. Now I have the wet on. So I basically am kind of am making the beat. I'm not gonna lie right, right off the top. This is gonna have this like close, you know, in the room when you have so much stuff in the room and it has like that that without no echoes. It's gonna be that type, it's gonna be like no echoes. But when you take out, like, if you're moving out, have you ever noticed when you move out of the house and, and, you, and you're moving and you're taking your stuff out of the house, it's, you start hearing the echo sound again? What's gonna get? It's gonna give that you give you kind of that sound like this. See? It's gonna give you that sound. But when I do this, All right? I'm gonna show you. This is how I make the bell sound. Well, it's not like a piano slash bell to me, but that's how I make it. Well, well um, I am kind of am making the song right now. So this how I do it. This is how I exa how I exactly do it. And I'm gonna have to move out the, out of the 808 patterns. It's that's it's so simple, it's ridiculous. Look, well, it's not gonna sound exactly like the actual song.
to knock out that weird phased out sound. I'm about to take out the fun, put it back to the normal. I could have had easily used the Nexus plugin, but I just designed the sound. I designed the sound for the song already, right off the bat. I could even design the bass sound, like, yeah, I could do that, but you know, I could do that right, right, right off the top, right off the rip, but I choose not to. It's kind of too loud to me. My bad if I'm hurting your ears. My apologies if I'm hurting your ears on the making of the sound. I'm kind of even making the beat. I'm keeping that. I'm saving that. So when, when I have to, when I have my free time, I can continue on making the beat. Had to because it was kind of too loud. I'm not gonna lie. It was too loud. Put that a little octave like this. Like that. But just, 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 just my little thing. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. Like that. Like that. But all right, for the bass song, now I can't play. I cannot play the actual track because if I, because if I do the, I have to do a copyright. And I'm not gonna be able to monetize off this video. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. These record produ producers be on some petty shit. They're gonna copyright shit. I'm like, bro, they, these record labels be on some petty shit. Like, bro, you're not even gonna make half the money off the rich. You're not gonna make as much money as you as if you were from the original from the original video. How much money do you need to spend off p little people? You're only gonna make. 5,000 5, 000 views, and 5,000 views is equivalent to five dollars. Or two thousand views, which is equivalent to two dollars. So you're not even gonna make more money. While your original video is making two hundred million views, five hundred million views, which is five hundred thousand dollars. You're gonna profit more off of your original your original videos than just flagging down and taking down the video. You're not gonna profit off of that. Well, I'm sorry for my little rant, my little rant on how petty these record labels are. Especially when you're covering a song, it's for just for just covering a song. I'm sorry, sorry about my little rant. I'm just doing something on YouTube. I'm just, I'm just doing a YouTube video, just stuff on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm doing stuff for YouTube. I understand that, son, but in the library, you have to, your voice has to be at some level. Okay. So I was a police officer talking. My bad. I was kind of loud. Alright, for the bass sound. 
This is what I do to make the bass sound. I put everything down to zero, but actually it don't matter. But if you want a precise bass bass sound, if you want nothing but a bass sound, this is what you gotta do. All right, here's what I, what is what I do though. I alter the detoning. I gotta mess with the detoning. I can have the phaser. Oh yeah, I should have the phaser so it could pan left to right for the p piano bell sound. So you can pan to your left and your right here, giving off the same synth that's used off the Nexus that Metro Boomin uses. But I'm not going to spend time digging through sounds to find the exact sounds when I can design the sound. Well, sometimes sound design can be inconvenient. Sometimes synthesizers can be convenient. Sometimes that's why I have synthesizers and I do sound design as this on at the same time. But the, the thing with sound designing versus just taking sounds and presets off of a synthesizer, synthesizers, you can be, oh, you you can always be creative. You never run out of quote. Well, you can always have creativity. You can always, but that's the thing with sound design. With synthesizers, you, you can have creativity there, but not as much as you would using or using the sound designing. No sounds very subtle, really subtle. Take out the phaser. And for the bass, this is how the bass will sound. I mess with the fine. But I had to to have that clean bass sound. This is what I do. Gonna use the equalizer. Equalize it. Bam. Bam. So now I'll just go to to reverberate it. Still can have that now. I'm not gonna put too much reverb. It's too much. Too much lag.
too much going on with the bass. Nah, I'll, I'll solve it. sound design my sound recreation but it's gonna sound more accurate than what you what you see right now on on the remake of making remaking it to be as as of right now I just showed you how I kind of do my sound design and I just gave away my secrets but you know it's, it may not be secret to some people you know I don't even care Here's the trick. You could you could take away, let's say, someone's laptop. You could take away my laptop. You, you can steal my laptop. You can steal my flash drive full of beats. But I got the skills. I, I still could do what I could do even without those things. You know why? Because I have the skills. Since I have the skills, I always could do what I can do. Which is, you know, I, I don't want to bring Dr. Dre into this. Remember the, the Shook Knight? And Dr. Dre's story, Dr. Dre's straight from Compton movie, where where Shook Knight, where Dr. Dre wanted out of, out, out of death row, he yeah, he wanted out, but he's he's the man says, you know you're not gonna get your 50 million dollars, you're not you know you're not gonna make any money off of what off of your own work that you made, but Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre's like, nope, I don't care. You could make a profit, you could make money off of what I did. But you can never make money off of my creativity. You can never get money. Can't buy a piece of a mind. Money can't buy. Money can't buy creativity. Money can't buy create creativeness. You can have someone's finished work and make a profit out of it, make a living off of it. But you can never buy the creativity. That's why I feel. If someone steals my flat, my laptop. I don't care. You still could do what I can do. If someone steals my laptop. Hey, will it take time? Hell yeah, it will. It'll be time consuming. But you know what? I got the skills to do it. If you see someone steals my flash drive and keep it, I don't care. Because I got the skills. Well, that's all I got to say. See you all. Thank you. Thank you all. And please subscribe. Like if you, if you, if you like what I just did. 